Hey there dudes, I'm Sarplones, your boy, back again with Kingdom of Loading. It's part 2, I think. I don't know. Now, lastly we completed, completed the story lighting. Now let's continue. I'll just randomly adventure around. I have 200 adventures, so... It's... There's a limit. Just the side check, but you knock on the door of the side check, but there's no answer. Maybe try back later, Kaden. Alrighty. Now let's go to the seaside the council of loading. We still still need the we still need a mosquito larva adventure. Please find us one in the spooky forest, Kaden. Now I've I leveled up to three. Just got it at the odd jobs board and just did a job with three adventures. Then I directly leveled up three. It's it's that easy. You know that turtle? It's that easy. You can just level up and join my clan. Okay. I did an announcement to my humble friend, turtle dude. Now let's continue. Okay, this is a weird place, the lair of the Maudi sorcerers. I don't know anything about this place. You, you just, just look up this. You can adventure, or do something there. Now. Go talk to Gorgonzola at the League of Achievement. Okay. Now, there's three um, clubs or leagues or whatever for your class. Like the League of Chief, Chief Maggie. This league is for pastamancers and sorcerers, or the Brotherhood of Smack of the Smackdown. It's a a, a league for Silk clubbers and turtle tamers. Or if you go to the wrong side of the tracks, you can see that there's a department of shadowy arts and crafts. This is for accordion thieves and disco bandits. And it's interesting. The wrong side of the tracks, there's not much about it. There's a casino, there's that weird dude that. Um, Tells that he's an artist, I don't know. Tall, skinny, shaggy haired man with thick plastic rimmed glasses paces back and forth, alternate, alternating between barely audible murmuring and loud swearing. He looks up at you as if walking for the weirdo. You there, plebeian! I'm the greatest artist the king in artist artist the kingdom of loading has ever known. But lately I've been unable to grace its population with my works of staggering genius. Because all, all of my painting supplies have been lost or lost or, or stolen. Let me, will you help me return them? Sure, I'm always glad to support the arts. Great, if I'm going to work, I need my paintbrush, my pelt and my paint. And he just says that um, he lost his pelt in the... Haunted Pantry in the Spooky Warren Mansion and Sleazy Back Alley and Gnoblin uh, Kid. Oh, okay. Then let's go to the Sleazy Back Alley. No. Let's go to the uh, League of Chief, Mag Chief Magrath. The Guard Tower. This is an interesting place. This is a weirdo here. You climb to the top of the gourd tower and encounter a twitchy man standing next to a huge gourd. Um, uh, 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 Captain, says the man. A captain uh, of the gourd. It's my sword, my sword uh, duty to protect the gourd that is. It's clear that in addition to being next to it, the man's clearly out of his gourd. You can uh, help, help. Uh, he continues. Tin cans, tin cans, in the gourd, slay them. 
Sitta Morten. Morten. Okej. Annars ska jag inte döda på oss igen. Haunted. Haunted. Ooh. Pantry. Bring back 500. Ah, okej. Ah, sure. Great. I'll be here. Keeping the... The goals here. Holy shit, that was... That, that was... An art voice acting, what the hell. Okay, then. No. This guy, the gold captain, he gives you potions in, a, in an exchange in an exchange for razor sharpened tin cans, and that gold potions give you more boosts. Like it gives him uh, the little points for mysticality, and you can level up your mysticality that easily by going uh, spooky very manner. The haunted pantry, and you can level up there. Like you are fighting a possessed can of tomatoes. <laughs> Yay! Inside the haunted pantry, you encountered encountered this abomination. You assume a fighting stance and prepare to match your opponent with a can of whoopies. You get the shampoo. All right then. I just have one skill: a spaghetti spear. Your skill. Come on. Come on. Hey. Please. Oh, it just freezed. Um. Okay. The hell. Okay, refresh the page. What the? F ah, all right. Oh, well, that was a f that was an accident. I don't know. That was anti anticlimactic. Okay. Okay. Seaside town. Come on. Right side of tracks. Spear and manor. Haunted pantry. Okay. You're fighting an undead elbow macaron. <laughs> Inside the haunted pantry, you, you encounter an undead album macaron of unusual size. It drops its, its hand together and prepares to assault you like a peanut. <gasps> my first nightmare, my first fear. Okay. You conjure up a dart of spaghetti and hurl it at your opponent, dealing three damage. You win the fight! And I occur mag mag magicians in a can and into a mystery instance. Okay. Now, spleen items. Um, will boost up your this muscle mystical the max settings. If you use the magic illness in the can, you spray them. It's you spray the ma can of magic illness all over your body. It's cold and it's the most funny, but it de different definitely makes you feel more magical. Like then you gain two mystery instances. It's the mystery instance is a. Little point of mysticality, like I said in the last video. And if you use more, come on. Oh, fuck my internet. Okay. It, it, it gave you two mysteriousness and you can level up your mysticality by that easily for just now it will be much harder when you level up okay now let's go to the seaside town now we were leveling up in the uh, spooky animation manner okay on your way to the haunted pantry you hear you hear a rustling from a nearby courtyard and stop to investigate. A giant tree stands in the middle of the courtyard next to the sign that says the singing tree. In regests, it has you in a lilting voice, while pointing with its with its branch branches at the tip jar between two two of its roots. Okay. Sing a sad song, sing a song. Well let's sing a song, brother. Yay, I gain five small. And it's a little point for Maxi. Yay. 
Inside the haunted pantry you encounter oh okay. Let's use my skin. Yeah, carrot. Tomato, yay. Adventure again. Oh, as you near the haunted pantry, you accidentally step on a pot of paint. Though your shoe is now multi hook, you know, you know somebody would like to have this back. A pretentious plate. P palette. I don't know. Okay. Let's go to the seaside town again. And wrong side of tracks and dirt vault hovel of the pretentious artist. Oh, <laughs> silly me. I need to find two more items. Okay, pretentious paint. Where can I collect the pretentious paint? Um, By the way, I didn't sign up to the League of Ch Chief Maggie to sign up. Gorgonzola, the Chief Chief Chef. Yay. You wish to join the League of Chief Maggie? Gorgonzola asked, looking you up and down. Very well, but first you must prove your abilities. How do I do that? You ask. Not far from here in the haunted pantry, there resides a polter sandwich. You have a, a poultry sandwich, a poultry, particularly angry manifestation of a sandwich ghost. A sandwich ghost? Sandwiches have ghosts? Only the really delicious ones. I want you to find and tame this particular poultry sandwich and return here with it. Alrighty then. Now, let's go to Spooky Bear Manor again. Down the pantry, and I'm fighting a Finnish can of asparagus. Really? Alright then. It throws a spear in the groin, but you kick the can. <laughs> really? God damn, you evil bastard. Take this. Let's go. Yes. Came for meat. Cut down in his prime. Just, uh, just uh, outside the door of the haunted pantry. This guy looks drunk, by the way. You'll encounter the corpse of an unfortunate adventurer just like yourself. Well, not just like yourself, in that you don't have a razor sharp can lid buried in your back. You retrieve the can lid, and since you gauge that he probably doesn't need it anymore, you also help yourself to the content of his vault, Kaden. Uh, possessed can of tomatoes. You take breadcrumbs, what the hell? There's a handful of shimmery, shimmering rainbow colored breadcrumbs that don't seem to be subject to gravity. Ah, uh, hell no. Okay. Oh, it's a flame broiled meat blob. You can. If you kill this, these guys, you gain meat paste. You acquire meat paste. And that's good because meat paste is an. Um, I needed item for meat smithing and other stuff. Combining items and like that. Okay. Let's get more razor sharp. Let's dip it in the haunted pantry. You you find the oh my god. That's 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 fucking that's fucking scary. A scary sandwich. My worst nightmare. You find a small cabinet door that rattles mysteriously as through something within, within were trying to escape. Despite your better judgment, which you figure you're going to have, a, have to learn to ignore if you want to be much of an adventurer, you flip the little latch holding the cupboard shut. With a def deafening scratch, two slices of bread leap out of the cupboard, sailing over your head as you duck. They are followed by se several slices of tomato, a little sleeve, some Swiss cheese and the glove of what appears to be chicken salad, which is contorting itself into the shape of a horrible screaming face. That thing isn't chicken salad. What the? F <laughs> this is pro probably the poultry sandwich that Gorgonzola said you're looking for. Sent you looking for. I mean, if you had to guess, pseudo exercise me a sandwich. You're bringing a chance to focus on focus your mental energies. 
Riboflavin, maltodextrin, monosodium glutamate. Sensing your in intentions, the ghostly sandwich fixing hole and gibbering swarm around you, forcing you to duck and dodge frantically as you bring your powers to beer. Soon, however, you manage to catch the foodstuffs in your telekinetic grip and wrestle them together into a unified sandwich. Yay! We chain pull with a rune ins inscribed toothpick to bind it, bind it in its form. Now to get it back to Gorgon Solar before the breed gets so nobody likes it when that happens. <laughs> really? An exercise sandwich? Kaden. Then let's go to the League of Chef Maggie. Gorgon Solar, the Chief Chef. Okay. <clears throat> you only captured port poultry sandwich to Gorgon Zelda. Well done, he says, as he seals the ghostly sandwich within a room etched plastic baggie and puts, in, puts it in the fridge. You are now an official member of the League of Chef Maggie. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Welcome. <laughs> he makes up duty. By the way, I, I did a SpongeBob reference there. He makes up duty with a broad green, then after a brief pause, adds. You know, like a club sandwich. Right, got it, you see. Oh, you should talk to Bree about getting yourself some new skills. Good, I can hook you up with the a bit prov prov provisions. Oh, and if you want to borrow the good Midgar, talk to Blaine, he's back there in that box. Now, let me all uh, get these things sorted out. Sorted, sorted out like there's a trainer you can go talk to her and get new skills like rebel shurikens potential twist like um this is combat skills and entangling noodles is a combat skill this tree is combat skill and uh, transcendent transcendent al dante is a passive skill it gives you an effect all Dante Inferno. It boosts 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 you up. And then Lasagna Bandages is an passive skill and it heals you up. <clears throat> for a co for cost obviously it, um you spent mana point to that. Find Vampirogi um you it's your first passive troll. It's a creature that serves you as a far, um, far familiar, yes. And now, by the way, Pasta Mastery. This is a pretty cool thing, skill. Now, if you learn Pasta, mas pa pasta Mastery, you gain. You can summon three dry noodles uh, each day, and you can make like pastas. Like you can combine dry noodles and tomato to make boring spaghetti, and you can eat it. Then you get boosts, little points of maxi, little points of mysticality, little points of muscle, muscle, like that. It boosts boosts the up. For a um, bunch of little points, and right, what's the, oh, it's been a long time, so uh, well. Okay then let's let's go to the right side of tracks, the gore tower. No, oh, I got only two of them. Bye, bye. God damn it. Okay. Um. All right then. Let's learn a skill and use it. Then I will finish the video off. Now uh, breed the trainer. Let's learn the ravioli shurikens, the holy power. And these two guys, masters or adepts or whatever, they give you guests. This is a sorcerer, and we are pastor master, so he 
he will a bit angry towards us because there was a long fight between the past monsters and sorcerers but the past monster will be normal towards us and more like jovial or anything like that but the sorcerer the sorcerer appears at you over the spectac spectacle says Jopper you must be the only past monster well, Gorgon Zolo knows what he's doing I suppose I'm Adam 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 I don't know head sorcerer in head sorcerer in the league don't pestle me now I'm working on some very important research he waves you away briskly now he is a bit angry towards you because we are a past monster and he's a sorcerer. But if you go, if if you go to the Asiago, the past monster, oh, you must be the new league's the, the league's newest member. Welcome, I'm Asiago, he head past monster with, within the league. I haven't got any tasks for you now, but check back with me later. Oh, he's a bit uh, jovial towards us, so that's good because we are past monster and he's a past monster. So and the past monsters are. Like brothers and sisters, I don't know. Now, I'm going to finish the video off. That was a boring episode. I don't know. Goodbye, dudes.